Alright guys, welcome back to MLB The Show 20. We're here with some more content. Now, something that I don't like doing too much is something called BR. I don't like playing BR. Uh, I've never really liked playing BR, but I still do it here and there. Uh, but since I have so much time to make content right now, I'm just saying, fuck it. Let's play some BR, guys. Why not? I need the stubs. I, I want to try out these cards, maybe like this Joe Adele, but if I were to win this, I'd probably get Jim Edmonds because that card looks disgusting, and I fucking love Jim Edmonds. But, uh, yeah, I just I want to go 12-0, honestly. So, And those diamonds along the way, I could use the stubs. Even if we do get a loss, if we're like past six wins and I get a loss, I'm still going to go out with that run just because the stubs, they're worth it. But let's enter our first draft of the year. It is March 31st, and I'm doing my first draft of the year. Yeah, I know. Okay, I get it. So we got Barry Larkin. I'm not going to take Corey Kluber. He's going to pitch one every three games. That's how it kind of works. Uh, Barry Larkin, Ricky Henderson, or Reggie? Uh, I fucking love Reggie, so I'm taking Reggie. I think that's an easy pick for me. Um, Ioannis Suspedis, Paul DeYoung. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about any of these guys. Paul DeYoung's kind of meh. He's just good at fielding, but the hitting is just trash. Dennis Eckersley, he's kind of filthy, dude. I'm going to go ahead and take him. Kind of filthy. Willie Stargell or Cattell Marte? I would not take Kerry Wood or Chris Sale here. I think I got to go Stargell. That 100 plus power on both sides, man. That's just so fucking worth it. Although Cattell Marte, switch hitting. Ugh. I like the switch hitting, though. Oh my god, I might take Cattell Marte here just because I like that switch hitting that much. I like it that much. And he can kind of field and play everywhere. Yeah, I'm literally taking Cattell Marte just because of that. Uh, I'll take Tyler Clifford here. I don't mind him. Oh, I'm taking Oliver Perez here too. I like both those picks. Christian Vasquez and Luke Voigt. And Michael Gibbons. His 84K per 9, 84 hit per 9 ain't bad at all. It really ain't that bad. But I'm going to go ahead and take Luke Voigt. I like the pop. Let's take a starter. We only need two. More. Mm, 93k per 9 and 78 hit per 9. I like it. I like it. We're going to take it. Uh, here we're going to take another starter. Because we only need two more. Here we're going to take a... Uh, fuck. I guess I'm going to take a left fielder. Um, Eddie. I do like Eddie. He's kind of a beast, dude. I do like this Eddie card. For silver, he's kind of good. Like, surprisingly. Will Harris, I do like. But that 75k per night, he's not going to blow anything by anybody. Okay, we'll take Eddie. Uh, here, we'll take a reliever. Here, we'll take... I don't... No, no. His, his per nines are way too low. His per nines are way too low. Yeah, no. Uh, we got Jeff McNeil and Michael Young. I think Michael Young's contact is just filthy. We already have three lefties and a switch hitter. So I think we can go for the righty here. I don't hate Chad Green, but eh, I don't really care for him. We're going to go ahead and take this guy. Uh, Carlos Martinez. I actually really like Carlos Martinez. Although Jonathan Scope's kind of filthy with the power, and I know that his swing is good. I'm going to have to fill up this uh, rotation. And I do like Carlos Martinez. Keon Kella. Yeah, I like him. I want a lefty in there to finish it off. Yasmani Grandal, Xavier Edwards. Ooh, baby, that card's filthy, but then you got Snell. Then you got Snell. We're going to have to take Snell. I think his form's too filthy, and we end up getting Gary and Mitch Garver. I might give Mitch Garver a chance since I was doing good with him lately. I might give him a chance. And then we'll take uh, two silver pen pieces, most likely. So we'll give Mitch Garver a chance over at catcher. We'll give him a chance. I do like Kevin Newman's hitting. I really do like his stick, but the 50 fielding, I feel like it's going to come back to haunt me. So I might take a note here just because he's got that good arm, good fielding, even though it's only 67. It gets the job done. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take him. And I don't really like Dan Winkler. I'm not a fan. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. Right here, we'll just go ahead and take a common because I can. Uh, we'll take Jimmy Fox. Can you give me a silver round, please? Please, for the love of fucking God. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, I'll go. I'll push for one more. 
actually, can I take the bronze here? Probably. 73 ain't terrible. I'll take Austin Voth. There we go. Uh, and you give me David Robertson. Okay. I don't like that at all. Third and first. I don't think that rookie card can play left. He can play shortstop, but I don't know where Michael Young can play. Here, let's do this. Let's go to my inventory. Let's go to the Braves and head on. Yeah, head on over to the Braves. See if the Eddie can play left. He most likely can't. Holy fuck. How far are they? Okay. So the uh, 76 Eddie can't play left. And the Michael Young on the Rangers can only play second and third. So yeah, it looks like we're not going to be getting this guy. Because he can't play left. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, fuck, I really wanted Seeger too. And I do like this guy's swing. But we're going to be taking David Robertson. Oh, we got for meal. Yo, he's going in left, dude. He's going in left. You give me Dickerson, that's cool and all. But you gave me Fran Mill. You gave me Fran Mill. How could I not put this man in left? He's a goddamn beast. And then they also gave me Miguel Sano, who could go play third or first. I'm going to put him in first over Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt's going to be the main bench bat. Uh, just because Miguel Sano's power is just absolutely insane. So we're going to play one game here. Let me turn down my mic. I think it's a bit too loud. So we're going to play one game, okay? Uh, we're going to head into one game, and then after that, we're going to go every uh, tier. So let's say, next video, I'm going to go till I get to three wins. Next video, I'm going to go till I get to six. Next till nine, next till 12. That's how we're going to do it. Martel, Myrtle Beach Pelicans. He's got Julio Urias on the mound. We got Carlos Martinez. He's got Tatis. He's got Chipper. He's got Mickey Middle. He's got Freddie Freeman. He's got a pretty nice lineup, but he's also got a nice pen. Uh, as in, he's got, like, what, two diamonds in the pen? Holy shit, unless he drafted one in the rotation. 21 and 27 in ranked, we're 10 and 0. I'm gonna check his bullpen before we play this game. Now we're gonna quick pitch, make him think we're gonna throw a fastball. Holy fuck, he actually wasn't even that early on that one, which is interesting. How he wasn't as early on that as he was on the other ones, even though I quick pitch to throw him off. And I just ground out on a good, good. Ah, fuck, okay. All right, that's fine. Let's go pitch. For some reason, his slider just has... Oh, my God. Tom Murphy, it's a fucking bomb off a hanging cutter. Well, you know what? It probably would have been a strikeout if for some reason my fucking slider didn't drop to the damn dirt. Guaranteed the only reason he does that is because fucking David Robertson energy is low. It's red. In fucking 18 pitches, it's pretty much out. It's crazy. Come on, throw me something decent. Oh, there you go. That's something decent with Sano. Perfect, perfect. Home run, up center. There we go. Tie game. Good shit, Sano. Glad I, I uh, decided to put him out there over the other guy, whoever that was, because I don't even remember already. It was Luke Floyd. Okay, yeah, never mind. I feel like this guy cannot pitch righty lefty, man. That was just absolutely destroyed. Over his head. Good shit. In fact, we're going to score him out of that. Yeah, we're going to get the lead. Wow, good hit from Voight. I'm shocked that wasn't a perfect perfect. It's a good and squared up, though. There's no way. Yeah, it is. All right, just going to pull that like last time, and that should just be a flyout for Reggie Jackson to field, and that's going to end the game. We win the game 2-1. to one. We get our first win of the run of hopefully many more of the run. Um, Miguel Sano comes clutch with a home run right after we give up a run. Oh, well, home run also. But, uh, yeah, guys, we got our first win. We're going to go for two more in the next video. But, yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Hit thumbs up button if you did enjoy. Subscribe more content like this. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.